Well, a totally different scene tonight at the Paris Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. 24 hours ago, all of the lights were out and thousands of people were forced to leave their rooms following a massive power outage. Tonight, the lights are back on. Now, Caesars Entertainment is dealing with a different kind of problem. Hundreds of unhappy guests. Our team coverage begins with 13 Action News reporter Tom George, who's been talking with some of the people now trying to get their vacation straightened out. Tom. Well, Steve and Trisha, now that the sun has gone down, it's kind of nice to see Paris finally looking like Paris again for the first full night since that outage. You can even see the lights coming back on in some of the hotel rooms. A far cry from what it looked like yesterday. Some people telling us when the lights went out, it looked like a post-apocalyptic world. We talked to several people who were staying here. Some were happy with how Paris handled it. Others were fed up. So Paris today having their work cut out for them, trying to keep everybody happy. Everything went black. The Nevilles from Massachusetts getting a big shock staying at the Paris. No one knew what was going on. We were in rooms, they bounced us to different hotels, and the end result, we didn't get a hotel. Luckily, friends staying at the Venetian let them crash. Others, like Javita Tarak from Vancouver, Canada, in town for a conference, yeah. not as lucky. She shot this Facebook video while she was stranded in the dark. Honestly, it was like uh, zombies. Um, we got up and, and we looked outside, all the lights were off, all the hallways are completely dark. She ended up having to spend the night in a club and says elderly people also had to stay there on couches. Nobody was helping them. You know, a lot of people didn't have their medication. Catherine St. Paul from New Orleans had better luck. All the security people were so nice and they took us up in groups of about five or six in the service elevator with their flashlights. Staff helped her get her stuff and find her another hotel. It was nice to see how they took what could have been a really bad situation, and they really did a good job with it. Paris is offering guests an extra two free nights or $200 credit for their trouble. Some say that's not enough. And all they're offering us is a $200 free credit for being out for 15 hours. Time some are making up for today. We're going no. drinking. There you <laughs> go. Tough day yesterday. <laughs> Well, they could certainly use one, and uh, Paris says they are working with people, uh, any, everything from flights, anything they need, and again, they are paying for two free nights. They've also set up a hotline. Uh, we have a link to that as well. We just look for the story on our website at ktnv.com. For now, reporting live from the Paris Hotel, Tom George, 13 Action News. Tom, thank you. So now the big question still remaining, how does something like this happen at a major casino on the Las Vegas Strip? 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is live from the Paris, where she's digging into how the blackout started in in the first place, Leslie. Trisha, it's here at the Paris where these contractors went inside the building and then into the boiling room. They were hired to fix flooring, instead leaving this place in the dark. All I can say is that the contractor wasn't supposed to drill through the main line and shut the power down to the building. But that's exactly what happened. The Paris went dark after a hired contractor cut through the main power line, including the backup generator. The contractors were authorized to be here doing work on the subfloor beneath the boiler room. And so they were authorized and they were doing work, uh, just not the work we expected. Frustrations are high as Caesars Entertainment continues their investigation. Terrible. That's, that's Terrible. Crazy. Worst vacation ever. But how does this happen? Wouldn't the contractor know what they were drilling? 13 Action News took our question to the Nevada Contractors Association. They say these casinos are constantly undergoing construction and re-engineering. Electricians on this project probably some of the, and other projects like it, probably some of the best trained electricians in the world. The association deals with over 600 contractors. This, they say, is a rare occasion. But hitting a main power line like that could have been deadly. No one got hurt. That's a big deal. What else may be big is the price tag to this blackout. On average, a casino on the Strip can make $1.8 million a day, according to a UNLV study from 2015. A costly mistake. Every one of these incidents is a learning event for the company, and we're going to be sitting back and taking stock of that. Well, tonight, Caesars Entertainment says they have put a permanent fix on that power line, and they expect it to hold. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News.